Hey guys, Chronic Override here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install shaders on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This tutorial works for Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and Windows 10. Since Minecraft is updated to the Render Dragon engine, shaders as we know them are no longer supported. So we're going to take a look at some texture packs that give similar effects and that work on console as well as Windows 10. Render Dragon enables developers access to new tools, such as physically based rendering, which allows them to adjust block properties to make them more luminescent and more reflective. This allows you to get shader-like effects for your worlds. We keep a list of working shaders in my Discord server under favorite add-ons. For this tutorial, we're going to be using console PC shader. The link will be down in the description below. Alright, so the first thing that you guys want to do is open up that link that is down in the description below for console PC shader. And then you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here to where the download links are. We're going to click on the console shader less ads link. Click on click here to continue. And then once you're on the link for ties, you just want to scroll down until you see free access with ads. You can go ahead and click on that and then scroll up. It'll say discover interesting articles. Click on that. It'll bring this window up. You can just press the X here and it'll give you a countdown timer. Just wait until it says zero and then press the X again. Once that's closed, you can go ahead and press continue. And then once it brings you to the Mediafire download page, you can go ahead and press download. You can close the link for ties and the ad page that it opens up. And then go back to the Mediafire page and press save. Once that's done, you want to open up the Microsoft Store. You're going to go to search and search for MC Add-ons Manager. You want to install this. It is 100% free guys. And then once it is installed, you're going to go ahead and open it up. You need to accept the terms and conditions. and then it will bring you to this screen here. You're gonna to wanna to click import at the top. It'll bring you to your downloads where you should see your console shader.mc pack here. You can go ahead and click it. It will import it and you can click yes to delete the source pack file because it's been imported to Minecraft. And you'll see it here listed under resource packs. If I wanted to use this on global resources for use on realms and servers, I have one other step that you need to do. You need to click on this checkbox here and then the use globally button up here and press yes. And that will make it a global resource. Now when we go into Minecraft, If you're looking to use this on global resources and you applied it for global resources, you go to settings and then global resources and under my packs, you'll see your pack listed here. So you can go ahead and click it and click on activate. If you didn't do it for global resources, then what you're going to want to do is click play on your world or create a new world, whatever you're doing. You want to Go here to resource packs and under my packs you'll apply the console PC shaders pack. 
and then you can go ahead and create world and that pack will be applied. If this video helped you guys out, please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I want to give a huge shout out to my partner Osaxley, who is the creator of MC Add-ons Manager. Go and give him a follow on his official Twitter account at MC Add-ons Manager. The link will be down in the description below. And as always, if you guys need any help with anything in my video tutorials or the app, feel free to hop into the Discord server and make a ticket under support. Either myself, Osaxley, or someone on our team will be happy to assist. Until the next one!